Good morning, students. How are you, dear petites? I hope you all are fine, good, and safe at your home. Welcome for today's science class in seventh. We are on chapter number second, that is nutrition in animals and organisms, and this is part fifth. So, in this part, we are going to study the structure of digestive system and digestion in ruminants. Rumination process take places in herbivores. And there are four steps and or we can say four chambers through which this process takes place. That is rumen, reticulum, omasum and obamasum. Let's study this topic in detail. We all know herbivorous animals eat plants. And they need organs and mechanisms in their digestive system which can digest cellulose. The cellulose is broken down into simple glucose molecules by an enzyme called cellulase. Can you eat grass and digest it? No. Our digestive system does not produce cellulase. For that matter, it is not produced in most animals. Only some bacteria and some protozoans flagellate produce some herbivorous animals use these bacteria or protozoa to digest cellulose. The teeth of these animals are also modified. They have no canines. The incisors are well developed and the molars and premolars are flat. These teeth are very useful in mastication or chewing of food. You must have seen a cow or a buffalo eating grass. These animals swallow grass without chewing it. After swallowing food, amount of grasses they mix with during the time of rest. They bring back the food from the digestive canal through the mouth, chew it leisurely. This process is called rumination and these animals are referred as ruminants. The food is completely chewed and is mixed with saliva. Let us look at the digestive system. We find that it is different from other animals. The stomach is an organ to be watched. It is large and has four chambers. They are rumen, reticulum, omasum and obamasum. Food root. Food followed by the mouth, then rumen, then chewing, then rumen, to reticulum, then omasum, then obemasum, to intestine, to colon, to anus. This is the flowchart of food root in ruminants. Let's talk about the digestion in ruminants. The rumen is the largest chamber and cellulase is produced here by a large number of microorganisms. Food that is swallowed enters the rumen and it is partially digested into a paste called cud. The partially digested food is brought back to the mouth, mixed with large amount of saliva and chewed thoroughly. This food again enters the rumen and digestion continues for some time. Cellulase and other enzymes act on cellulose. The food is now sent to the second chamber, the reticulum. Enzymes produced by bacteria continues digestion in reticulum. The food is almost digested here. The fully digested food, along with bacteria, now enters the third chamber, the omasum. Internally, omasum is thrown into a number of folds to increase the absorptive area. Absorption of the digested food begins in this chamber where the water and bicarbonates present in the food is absorbed. The food now becomes concentrated and is sent to the fourth chamber, the obey mason. This chamber is considered as the true stomach. 
as the gland in a obey mason secretes acid. This acid kills bacteria and denatured, that is, destroys the structure of protein. The proteins are digested by the enzymes secreted in this chamber. The food containing the product of digestion enters the intestine. In the intestine, all the nutrients absorbed. In this way, the digestion process stops. And the undigested food which is left will excrete out through the excretory organ. In this way, all the digestion process stops. Read this topic and try to understand the concept of rumination process that is totally different for human digestion system. Till then, thank you. Have a nice day. Stay safe at your home.